All right, Felicia. Yes, it's so hi. nice to meet you. It's wonderful to meet you. This is an amazing costume. I'm holding this beautiful helmet. What What is this costume first and foremost? This is Emphis Nest from Solo: A Star Wars Story. Okay, um, and you built this whole thing from scratch. Um, yes, so I belong to the Enfys Nest Facebook group, okay. and that's a place where everybody kind of trades resources, trades parts, um, tips, tutorials, so everybody kind of helps everybody there, so it was... It was really awesome. It was a great resource to have while building this. So this is like other people might go, oh, I found the perfect dial for the front thing. Yes, and yes, that absolutely. That kind of trading of information. <laughs> yes. What drew you to this character? Gosh, um, so there was so much mystery around if she was male or female, mm -hmm. nobody knew. And then she was just so cool and so awesome, and then at the end, she just took her helmet off and every, I heard there was like an audible gasp in the theater <laughs> and I was like, Oh no, <laughs> oh no, I have to make it, I have to make it. Now, there's a, a wonderful sort of textural thing going on here and that it feels sort of futuristic but also very old. Like this almost yeah. looks like a skull and I, a helmet at the same time. Yeah, I think so. Um, the designer, I think, was basing it off of a dolphin skull mm -hmm. is what I heard. Okay. Um, so it's got a lot of like texture to it and this very futuristic feel like you said but also this old worldness to it and uh, the chrome here is that molto yes yes it is and i, I... recognize the tone <laughs> <laughs> yes it's amazing stuff it's, it's I mean, so I, couldn't, I couldn't believe that you can see your face in something you can spray out of an airbrush. I know, I know. It was, it really impressed me. So did, how did you sculpt this helmet? So it's actually 3D printed. Okay. Um, it was over 32 pieces. <laughs> and then um, the file is actually from a friend of mine, Jesse. Okay. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it was, like I said, 32 pieces wow. and... It, it all came together and it's, I love it so much. <laughs> who, who signed it? Oh, Paul uh, Bettany? Yes, yeah, so Paul Bettany signed it and then Aaron Kellyman, the actress who played Emphis Nest, signed it. Oh, what so, a treat! <laughs> it was really, really great. I got it at, uh, signed at Celebration. Did they, did they uh, express admiration for the... Yes, um, Aaron especially, which just warmed my heart and it just, it really made every bit of hard work absolutely worth it. So there's a, a huge number of pieces to this costume. It must be a production just to wear it. Um, it is. It's um, by far the most cumbersome costume I have, um, and I kind of reach my comfort limit quite quick in it, um, which is why I have handlers with me usually, so they help out and and I made, they're able to kind of take things off and help me get back into it as yeah. needed. So. Yeah. Tell me about these arm fans. Are they functional? Um, they're semi-functional. Okay. So um, they open and close, and um, the tops are 3D printed, and all of the fan blades are resin cast, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, otherwise I felt they'd be a little bit too delicate. Mm -hmm. um, and so they just, they're, um, they're Chicago screws underneath these two oh, bumps nice. here. Oh, nice. I love and Chicago And so they, screws. I know, they're one of my favorite things to use. Me too. <laughs> and so they just open and close, and um, I want to soon work on a way to get them to, I want to have a loop around my finger mm -hmm. so I can pull my wrist down and have them open. Nice. That way I don't have to do it myself. I can just kind of, you know, for photos and stuff. That makes total sense. And these, these teeth, are these also each individually molded? So these are resin uh, resin cast. Mm -hmm. uh, these are 3D printed. This is actually a, a PEX um, plumbing tube. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the things we use. The hardware and, store. And uh, underneath there's some plastic tubing and a copper wire to help it keep shape. Mm -hmm. um, and this was 3D printed. Uh, and these bones, I just sculpted out of Sculpty mm -hmm. and then just ran them in resin. And I'm assuming this is a, this is a fake fur. So yes, I, I believe the used the screen use piece was an American bison belly, mm -hmm. and I just didn't have access to it. So I went to <laughs> National Fiber Technology. Yes, NFT. And yes, they're amazing. Yeah. They pointed me to exactly what I needed, and and it was I was just like, oh, thank you guys so much. It's not necessarily <laughs> cheap, but there's nothing. No, there. I know, but it was just so beautiful. I just I couldn't I couldn't not do it. Totally. I also see that you've got the orange lining on the cape here. Yeah. So you did all the sewing and the seamstress? The, yes, the, the, absolutely. The, oh, did all the soft parts. Um, this is suede, uh, painted it with uh, Angelus leather paint. Okay. And the shoes are actually from a company in Europe called Demobaza. And they, 
I love them so much and I've always wanted to own something from them and yeah. this was my chance. <laughs> and ironically enough, I had to alter the heck out of them. But it was a really, really fun challenge to do. I've never altered shoes before like that, so it oh, was really cool. cool. I'm also feeling on the inside of this helmet, you've actually got some lovely comfort pads. It looks like it's not yes. that bad to wear. No, no, it's not terrible. Um, it's like two sets of just military padding in there. It's super, super awesome. Now, how long have you been doing cosplay? Um, in 2020, it'll be my 10th year. Okay. And uh, this costume took me just about six months to build. And what was the first costume? I made Terra from Final Fantasy VI, which is my favorite Final Fantasy game ever. And uh, her character just really spoke to me, so I, I knew immediately that was going to be like my segue into cosplay. It, was it an elaborate long um, build? The funny thing about it was that it was the first one, so I had no concept for what was advanced, what was easy, and mm -hmm. I just kind of dove in and it took me a few months to do, but I was so proud of the results. I was like, you know, like I need to keep going with this. This is really fun and it was so rewarding. That, that, that feeling of, it took me a while to realize that making the costume is literally only half of the equation and yeah. that wearing it is the other, it fulfills its purpose. Yes, absolutely. What drew you to dive into that first costume? What was it that you were looking for that you saw that you wanted? So I remember this, this very vivid memory I have of Halloween one year. I wanted to be Catwoman. And um, it was Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. And I remember going to the, the store with my mom, yeah. getting the costume, opening the package, being like, excuse me, this is not patent leather. <laughs> I was very disappointed. <laughs> and I remember I can so identify with that feeling. And I remember being like, it's not shiny. I don't have cat claws. What is this? Yeah, this is a piece of crap. <laughs> so from that moment on, you know, it that thought kind of went on the back burner for a while. And then as I got older, I was like, you know, this is something I'm really interested in. I always looked at cosplays and said, you know, I wish I could do that. Yeah. And then one day I just said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. So I did it. <laughs> And the results 10 years later, this is magnificent. And Thank you look you so great. Much. Thank and you. And I know that it's not necessarily comfortable, but I can also tell that you feel great wearing it. I do. I feel like like such a badass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you put the helmet on so we can see the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You've got the stance. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me this beautiful costume. Felicia. Yes, absolutely. It's so inspiring. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh this my was God. wonderful. What a pleasure. <laughs>